Welcome to my building a Super Smash Bros. fighting game in Unity course. Get ready to dive into this exciting project which will build your professional C-sharp skills, game design and development knowledge, and teach you how to make 2D fighting games in Unity. This course is the only course you will need to successfully build intricate 2D fighting games in Unity, complete with sprite animations, enemy AI, and special effects. First, we will download and install Unity. We will get you up and running using Unity Hub, a program that as of Unity 2019 is required to install Unity onto your computer. From there we will download and install Unity. Then we will run through the basics of creating a Unity project and navigating the editor. Finally, we will look at an overview of the project we are going to build in this course and import the course assets. Then we will learn about game design documents. In game development, a game design document details the way that a game will be laid out and all of the different features that will go into the game. We will then go over the Super Smash Bros game design document that I wrote for this course. After that, we are going to write the code to control the characters for our game. Our game will feature 9 playable characters from Super Smash Bros. Donkey Kong, Mario, Pikachu, Samus, Ice Climbers, Captain Falcon, Bowser, Link, and Sonic. For each character, we will look at an overview of the actions they will be able to perform in the game and work on three attacks, a weak, medium, and strong smash attack. Then we will write the jump logic for the character and finally play through the character to see all of the code that we wrote bring the character to life in the game. My favorite part of coding video games is when I finish something and get to see the visual results of my development efforts on screen in the game. It is a great, rewarding feeling. Then we are going to build two game levels, Bowser's Castle and Battlefield. We will build the level, special effects, out of bounds logic, and lives and damages UI that displays to the screen. Bowser's Castle will feature flames that emit from lava, which we will create using Unity's built-in particle effect system. Battlefield will feature a scrolling 2D background. After that comes the game design and development section of the course, where we will start assembling the actual game logic. We will do things like create a game state script to keep track of things going on in the game, create a start screen, lives, respawn, and damage logic, and more. We will build screens to let the user select the character and stage. Then we will program the enemy AI logic. We will write the code that will allow the computer to make decisions and intelligently fight the other characters including the player and other AI characters. Finally comes the course summary and wrap-up. We will play through the final game and then summarize what we learned in the course. If you stick with this course you will see tremendous growth in your C-sharp programming skills and your knowledge of Unity game development. You can use the skills that you learn in this course to build your own 2D fighting games. In the next section we will download and install Unity, the game engine that we will be using to build the Super Smash Bros game in this course.